Hello, my name is Tom Clanton. I'm a principal investigator at the University of Florida, the Department of Applied Physiology and Kinesiology. I'm very happy today to be able to describe our work involving the long-term effects of exertional heat stroke on the myocardium. It's very difficult to study heat stroke in humans because it can be deadly. So we utilize a preclinical mouse model in which we train mice to run on a forced running wheel in an environmental cha chamber kept at 37.5 degrees centigrade. The mice run using an incremental protocol until they develop severe neurological symptoms at core temperatures of about 42 degrees centigrade. The mice recover rapidly and within 24 hours there's no change in their weight or apparent behavior. We studied both female and male mice but female mice were able to run much longer, much faster, and sustain elevated temperatures for much longer times. It's not surprising, therefore, that the abnormalities we observed were primarily seen in females. Nearly every component of metabolism was negatively affected by 9 to 14 days. The glycolytic pathways, which take glucose to pyruvate, showed shunting of most carbon substrates away from downstream products used to sustain myocardial energy. Free fatty acids and their byproducts, ceramides and diglycerols, accumulated in the myocardium and affect characteristic of human heart failure. We think our data is extremely important because it is known that patients exposed to severe exertional heat stroke have a greater uh, chance of acquiring long-term heart disease. You can find our study in the Journal of Physiology, Volume 598.5. Please contact me by email if you wish to discuss our work further. Thank you.